Hi, this is Jane, and I want to show you how to find information on your topic using OneSearch. And that searches almost all of the library databases at once and then narrows down your results. So let's say we were looking for um, Volumnia, okay, who is the mother of um, Coriolanus. I'm going to type in Volumnia, and then I'm going to use the Boolean operator and to narrow it down to Shakespeare because we think her name is very um, unique, but it is not. So I would just want to narrow it down to articles and books and videos that mention also Shakespeare, kind of to limit it to our play. Click on find it. It won't find a lot because this is very specific character, uh, 141 results. And in the left-hand column, we can narrow down our results. So the first one actually looks kind of interesting. It's a journal article. The full text happens to be online. So I could click there to view the full text of the journal article. I'm just gonna jump though to a, this ebook here. I'm going to check the box. So to narrow it to ebooks, there's only two books or ebooks. The first one's a print book. So that is in the library. Um, but this one's an ebook. So we can view it no matter where you're located. Just click on full text online. It gives us a little description of the ebook. If we want to read it online, we can, or download the book. And if you download it, it depends on uh, how to download it, depends on what kind of device you have, but you can download it to your smartphone or a laptop. Most often for academic, though, use is you can just read it online. And some students, sometimes I hear them say, I don't have time to read the entire book, and your instructor may not... <laughs> Expect you to read the entire book. Usually for a research paper, you might read a chapter or two of the book. You know, the sections that are related to your topic. Unless, of course, the entire book is assigned to you. But in this case, if we wanted to see where she's mentioned, we can just type in search within the book. We can type in her name um, in the table of contents she's mentioned, and then chapter one a little bit, and then you see she's mentioned quite a bit in chapter six. And in fact, it's named after her. But just to see what type of information we're pulling up, if I click on chapter one, it tells you everywhere that word is mentioned. If I click on, the, it, on one, it will be presented in the screen on the right, the whole information. If you wanna use the information, just click up here and get citation, and it will tell you how to cite the book. Uh, this database brings it up in MLA format, which you would use for your paper. If you ever need APA, like you're in a criminal justice class or nursing, you could change it to APA format. And you can also, if you wanted to create a PDF of this chapter, download just the chapter or here again, the entire book if you wanted to um, using those links on the top. It opened our result as a separate tab. So I can go back to my list if I want to. Scroll to the top if I wanna deselect books and just go to peer reviewed sources, I can do so there. So if I wanted to go check out this journal article, I could check that out in one search. Okay, this one, it brings up the full text of the journal article. There's a summary, which is like a, a summary of the article. It's called an abstract, sorry. An abstract, it's, and then the full text follows. In this database, we're in a different database, an EBSCO host. To cite, you just go over here to this little piece of paper, click on it, gives you all different forms of how to cite the book or journal article. 
double click, there's your MLA ninth edition citation. Thank you. Well, did you?